Hey everyone, it's Miss Mac here with another short video. This time our third lesson in our exponents unit. Today we'll be covering raising a power to a power and looking at products and quotients with exponents. We have three learning objectives for this video. The first objective is that we can apply the properties of exponents when raising a power to a power. The second objective is that we can apply the properties of exponents when raising a product to a power. And finally, we can apply the properties of exponents when raising a quotient to a power. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with our first learning target. What happens when we raise a power to a power? So if you look in the table on my screen, the first example I have is x to the third, so that's a power, x to the third, raised to the third power. So we have a power raised to a power. In our expanded form, we're gonna write out what this looks like so that hopefully we can notice a pattern. So in my expanded form, that means I have x to the third times x to the third times x to the third. In our previous exponents lesson, we learned that whenever we are multiplying powers of the same base, we can add our exponents. So that's three plus three plus three. So our simplified power is x to the ninth power. Let's look at our next example. In our next example, we have y to the second power raised to the fourth power. So we have a power raised to a power. So that means I will have y to the second power multiplied by itself four times. And we know since these are all the same base, we can go ahead and add the exponents. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is y to the eighth power. But let's go ahead and look at maybe a way that we could shortcut this. I notice that I have three times itself, three times for my first expression. I also notice that I had three and three out here. And I know that three times three equals nine. I also noticed down here I was adding two four times. So I was doing repeated addition, which is the same thing as multiplication. So I can also think of this as two times four, which is eight. So let's summarize this with a rule. When we raise a power to a power, we multiply the exponents. And something really important here is that when we raise a power to a power, there will always be parentheses. Okay, that's how we will know that we are raising a power to a power is that there will be parentheses. Before we get into our next two learning targets, let's review two important concepts. So first, a product is two or more values that are being multiplied. In the example below, I know that these two values are being multiplied because they are not separated by an operation sign. Whenever I have two variables or a variable and a number that are next to each other and not separated by an uh, operation sign, I know that I am doing multiplication. Over here on the right, a quotient is two or more values that are being divided. And in the example above, I know that these two values are being divided because of the fraction bar. I have x over y. So that means I have x divided by y. So the rule when we have a product with exponents is pretty straightforward. It says that if I have x times y raised to the third power, this becomes x to the third power y to the third power. So basically I take this exponent and I give it away to both of the terms that were inside of my product. This will look a little bit similar to the distributive property. But instead of distributing a coefficient, which is a number that goes in front of our variable, we're distributing an exponent to every term inside of our product. The same is also true when we have a quotient. 
So if I have x divided by y all to the third power, that becomes x to the third power divided by y to the third power. Again, I took my exponent of three and I gave it away to both of the terms inside of my quotient. So when a product or a quotient is raised to a power, both numbers or all of the terms inside of those parentheses get raised to that same power. All right, everyone, that's all for today. If you still have questions, go ahead and watch that video one more time. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe now. Thanks for watching.